Well, the moment that everybody's been waiting for, uh, this should be the tutorial on how to use the Teensy to get all the NASA flight data onto your Tyrannis. Now, just a, just a forenote, um, this isn't a tutorial on soldering, it's not a tutorial on the Teensy. Um, I'm not here to give tutorials on how to do these things, so please don't, don't ask. Um, if you need any info, you really do need to do some research. Um, if you can't do this straight away, then you really shouldn't be doing it. Um, this can cause irreversible damage to your NASA if you get it wrong. It can also cause irreversible damage to your um, receiver, uh, your GPS. It can basically wreck it if you don't get it right the first time. Um, out of this, you'll get the GPS data from the NASA which will then transfer to the TNC, which will then dump it out to your free sky receiver and then it will come up on the, on the Tyrannus. Now I've only actually tested this on the um, X8R but it should work um, on, the, on any free sky receiver with telemetry. Right, the first thing you need to do is get one of these Arduino female headers they're just, um, I think they're about £2 for five strips of these and all you need to do is cut if we can zoom in, if it's going to focus it's not going to focus great there you go so you need to put, uh, cut just a four pin um, header this is basically to go into this is my test NASA, it's a mess it's basically to go into your GPS um, socket on your NASA right I've cut one of these uh, cut one of these things apart so I've just made the four pin connector now uh, female connector and also you need some uh, you need a four pin Arduino header and it's basically just to solder these two together so in effect what you're doing is taking a tap off the GPS so you've got the A lead which on this side I've actually got a single pin which is ultimately going to go onto the TNC so what you've got to do is basically solder these together like that and then you're going to put one of these this connector you're going to solder that to one of the two inner pins it doesn't matter which one at the minute um, which I'll show you in the next clip okay I've soldered the um, the one wire it's basically a tap wire not for tap um, onto the, the header now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to hot glue it um, into position just to insulate absolutely everything. Right, I soldered it up and hot glued it. I don't know if you can see it, but I've actually colour coded the wires um, just so as you can't get it the wrong way because believe me, if you get this backwards, it's fried. It'll take uh, the chances are it'll take your GPS out at the very, very least. So Anyway, I'll do a, um, a photo of this so as you can see the wiring. So you've got, uh, looking from this side, you've got your negative and you've got your signal wire. The next one isn't used and then you've got your positive, which goes into there nice and cleanly and then your GPS GPS plugs in after that like that right the first thing that you need to do is test the TNC um, now I didn't put any um, any flashy lights on the on the TNC until it actually connects to the NASA till it starts getting the data and dumps it out to the free sky port 
So what you need to do is in the description um, there's a file, a zip file that you download. You download that zip file and extract it to wherever and in the folder that it extracts to there should be two files which is Blinky and Terence uh, no OSD. Um, now you need to go to the um, PJRC or the TNC development website and download the TNC loader. Once you've downloaded the TNC loader, you just need to run it. And I can't show you this because I'm trying to video this as well. So all you need to do is go to when you've opened the TNC loader, go to File, Open Hex File and select the blinky um, that you downloaded from the description I hope this is making sense because it doesn't to me click on open once you've done that I mean nothing will happen you'll just get a, uh, something that will say press button to activate and quite simply all you do is you press the button and the light should start blinking four times a second so after you've done that um, you go on to it's just, this is purely a test to make sure that your TNC is actually working that's all then you go on to file open tech open hex and then open the other one which is the terene C no OSD it's called and then you do exactly the same you just press the reset now as you can see there's nothing actually happening and nothing will actually happen until you plug it into um, the S port connector and also your GPS. Next you have to solder the, the headers onto the TNC obviously to connect something to it. What I normally do is I solder a header, I put a header either side of where I'm actually going to solder as well um, that way you've got some form of support you don't want it just pulling on the one pin so you know, but this is a project board so they're a bit bent so the wire from the GPS which is here goes to pin number seven which is that one which is RX3 and the next step on the back of the TNC uh, you'll see just by the USB port there's actually a trace that you need to cut now I can't zoom in enough on this this, uh, this just hasn't got a macro lens so um, it's between these two pads there's actually a very very tiny trace again go to the PJRC the TNC development website and I'll actually explain what you need to do is basically disconnect the power to the USB because we're going to feed it directly from your free sky receiver so and it's imperative that you do that as well is to cut the power so when you plug the USB in after this one's already cut um, when you plug a USB power in nothing happens because it's got to get auxiliary power Right, your next step is to make up a cable um, that goes from your S port to the TNC. Um, basically, the TNC then gets power from your receiver. So, your signal wire, um, sorry, now we'll go from the positive. Your positive from the S port goes to the top right hand side um, when you see, where you see the USB connector goes to the top right hand port which is actually the voltage in which is 3.72 5.5 volts don't connect it to any other anyway the top left which is a negative which comes from the free sky goes to the top left and then the signal wire which is actually it's listed on the TNC uh, schematics as pin number one which is actually the third pin down so you've got ground, pin 0, pin 1. That one goes to the signal on your free sky.
just a uh, just a sub note as well. You will on your Tyrannis, you'll get you'll get loads of other readings on it, there are, which are going to be rather sporadic sort of readings. Um, it's purely because it's set up uh, for voltage sensing, uh, current sensing, and everything else. But I'll I'll cover those in a different video. Um, you will get the altitude, the correct altitude. You'll get um, you should get the airspeed. Uh, or is it ground? No, you'll get the ground speed and obviously your GPS location which will actually show even when the uh, the battery is disconnected on your free sky on your receiver sorry so there you have it hopefully it'll work if you've got any uh, any questions or comments just leave them in the comment section below